Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we will discuss about the conditions for obtaining a patent. So what are the different conditions to get the patents? See, it's simple. You have to get something official record that you own something. Okay, so that itself will give you that ownership. That itself is nothing but patent. Now you have to make sure that the product is something new without that you will not get patent so what are the basic criteria you need okay it has to be new thing that is novel it has to be something new step or inventive step or it can be cap <coughs> excuse me capable of industrial application that means it has to have the industrial application Understanding? Imagine you do some patent and it doesn't have any other application, it's of no use. So there has to be use case for your patent. <coughs> we will discuss in the step by step. Let's get in. So there is a set criteria as provided in the section 2 of 1J of a patent act 1970, which must be fulfilled for a product or a process to qualify for the grant of patent. That means these are the requirements. They have to fulfill these requirements in order to qualify, in order to qualify just for getting the patent. Okay. The criteria encompasses three things majorly. Novelty, it has to be new, right? It has to have, uh, the public should not be knowing about it, okay? And it should not be available in any publications, magazines, or whatever thing you are claiming it that should that particular specification should not be claimed by any other applicant. All those things will come into picture. Next, we have inventive step where the new things is going to happen. Next, capable of industrial applications. We will discuss one by one. The first one, novelty. So it's nothing but it's not part of a state of the art. So that means you have to check the review of literature you remember prior of art search all those things right like for how we did for research publications or uh, explain for this thing in the first in the second module similarly so in order to understand the novelty you need to understand you need to read a lot of research articles you have to go to the patent websites you have to go to the uh, normal uh, non-patent uh, literature like um, all of you know what is literature i am not gonna uh, explain once again so you need to go through the magazines you need to go through social media everywhere you have to search to make sure that that even idea whatever you have, want to patent or even the product whatever you want to patent is stay in the market or not it should not be there in the public domain so that is why it comes as novelty that means something new so it has to be not part of the state of the art that means already articles which are already available in the public domain it should not be part of it so the invention or the innovation that is claimed for in the patent application it has to be new and not known to anybody in the world it's simple that's why it is called as novel okay so in other words we are we can say that in three different subcategories we can categorize or the requirements it should not be in the knowledge of the public domain that means the particular idea or a product or a process or a design they should not come under it should not be available in the public knowledge or we can say uh, knowledge of the public next it should not be published anywhere okay through any means of the publication it should, uh, you can go for the research publication like journals uh, magazines or uh, articles research papers review papers etc or you can also ask like uh, you can go for textbooks notebooks all these things and all and non uh, scientific or you can say the patent listing the patent of search will be there no there also it should not be available Next, not be claimed in any other specifications by other applicant. When you file a patent, you will have to write down the claims, okay? That what is new in this or what are the special features in this. All the features has to be mentioned. If you don't mention the claim, uh, so then you cannot claim for what exactly you are patenting. Okay? You might get the patent, but the claims has to be there. 
imagine you patent a particular product and only two feature of that particular product you claimed but the same product has got five more features so later if somebody uh, improvise it and put the, these other five features in their patent you cannot object because you have not included in your claim that's why including in claim writing claim is very important so imagine now you claim something okay and that claim is already available or was claimed by earlier by someone then that is also called or not called novelty so that's why the it should not be claimed in any other specification by the any other applicant also so these are the this is about novelty next inventive step okay so inventive step is nothing but it should not become very obvious to the human beings or normal uh, the person which are uh, uh, having a little skill in that particular field also okay so it's not obvious to the persons or person which are skilled in the art okay for example the inno innovation is a technical advancement over existing knowledge it has to be some advancement it should not be obvious there is a difference between obvious and advancement or obvious means what oh that or oh, everybody knows that kind of you know should uh, what do you say uh the vibes should not come when people he hear about your invention okay so it should not be obvious so that means it should have um, some requirements in that first requirement is it has to be technologically advanced okay imagine already existing knowledge you can use but it has to be technologically advanced next it has it should possess economic significance that means it should have some market value so that it will go for a particular what is say it should it can be sold and make money out of it and because it has to have when you own something obviously you feel that it should be worth it should ha have a particular value right even patent is nothing but you are you are owning something right so it has to have the economic significance it has to impact the society market all those things next not obvious to a person skilled in the concerned subjects the same point what we discussed in the in the beginning only that means it should not be uh, obvious okay for a skilled person in the concerned area of research or a pro, uh, you know, subject that was about inventive step that means you need to make sure that it has to be something new okay novelty is also new whereas inventive step means what it has to have something technological advancement it has to have possess economic significances it should uh, not feel obvious all those things comes under in innovative inventive step do not get confused with the novelty and inventive step in novelty it has to be new that's it whereas inventive step it has to be technological advancement it has to be have the significance economic significance it has to have it should not be also obvious okay and is capable of industrial application this is the third and most important thing okay for the benefit of society this product has to have some impact on the society it should not be like even though if this product is there or not there it doesn't make any difference that should find that kind of you know uh, what you say uh, the message should not be there or you can say uh, it should uh, you know uh, it should have a particular benefit for a society next the invention is capable of being made or used in any industry that means it should be have the capability of uh, producing it or manufacturing it and uh, manufactured by the industries okay then or used by the industries or maybe uh, in it has got some uses in particular industries okay all these things comes under capable of industrial applications okay so these are the three major conditions now it is in to step and capable of industrial applications so this is what these are all your what condition that means they have to go undergo these three steps this should be three things should be there yeah. <coughs> uh, in the uh, will your intellectual property then only you are going to get the patent okay so next to patent or not to patent an invention that we will discuss in the next class